Okay, so we just kicked off a beginner's class and Seth is there setting the guys up with their movement prep. We're gonna give you a little look at behind the scenes of what's going on at some of our classes. <laughs> When we get around to here, we don't want palm down, elbows up, we want elbows down, we're forcing what is basically this thing here, okay? So locking in that core nice and tight, squeezing the glutes to the bottom. Make the change of the shoulder, T, W, Y, T, W. Okay? If you can't feel yourself, your glutes squeezing, they're probably not squeezing anything. So maybe slow it down and just try and get that bit right first. Now we're going to face on for you first. Into your normal push up, use the core to the top and rotating around. Okay, so you're going to keep flat, this will be my bottom arm. I'm probably in here about that position there, okay? So sometimes we'll teach you to do an isometric T push up hold. But just to get it mobilised, I'm just going to go through some really slow, controlled reps side to side, just trying to figure out what's happening in the shoulder joint. Don't just slump there and just like, oh I did a rep, back down, I did another rep, back down. Okay, take your time to think about what's happening at that shoulder joint. Okay, try and feel what's happening there. Squeeze the obliques as well, keep those hips nice and high. If you're struggling with the push-ups, just go into the T push-up hold and just practice holding it there, okay? And try. I'm sitting in my T push up but that, deep, that shoulder is right up by my hip. Yeah? I'm not active, I'm resting in this position. I can still be active and push my hips up, but automatically I always start pushing out there. But the, the key needs to be, where am I getting that drive from? It's coming from where I'm setting the shoulder blade. But the idea being, push down hard, get yourself away from the floor, create some separation between your shoulder and your ears. When you go into the keep the flat, if you're slumped and used to being resting here, You've got no anchor in which you're going to drive from. So, I'm not necessarily going to try and let everyone do a human flag today, but if you're wanting to be able to get into that, you need to get out of that position and drive yourself away. And even in some of the small progressions now, it's always thinking about that. Like pushing, being active rather than resting, trying to create tension across the joints. Try and take them apart. See there, I'm just engaged, I'm not here. Now I'm engaged there. So maybe we practice breaking away from these down the side, okay? Something there, and then we're gonna go So we take one hand forwards, the opposite knee comes forwards, and we're walking forwards and backwards, and we're looking at what's happening when we make that movement. Are we side from side to side? Or are we take staying? Gripping the ground with your fingers and we're slowly rocking forwards and loading the shoulders. So we're not just sitting there and just hoping that somehow we're balanced. We're loading the shoulders so we find that biting point and we're taking one foot up and we're comfortable taking the other foot up and just trying to balance. And there we go, we're actively pushing against the ground. So, once so he's going to have his wrist directly below the elbow, the knee on top, and then the hip on top of that. If you get comfortable, can we move around a little bit? Can we take one leg off? Can we take both legs off? 
So we've gone through the movement preparation works and some little bit of mobility drills, we've got warmed up, we've got the tissue temperature up and one thing we like to sort of start the session with or finish the warm up with is the hand balancing. It's one, it's fun, it's two, it gets the shoulders going and it gets everyone started on some of their hand balancing journey, whether that's a full handstand or now, is actually going to go in to look at some elbow lever positions which is more of a, a horizontal balance rather than a vertical which is great for beginners and it's much easier to get that balance. Check it out. Going head down, like, trust me, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You can come out of it and back into it. Here, building up strength, the thing that gets you moving forward, so think about that, that pivot of a, of a seesaw, the thing that gets you moving your upper body and trunk forward is being able to straighten that arm and take more load through the shoulder. So you have to be stronger to move further. <laughs> So what counterbalances me forward is me being able to push my body forward there. So my elbow is straight, stepping up, pushing myself forward. So an angle flag is we're using these different angles to help us make something a little bit closer to our human flag. So a human flag would be like the bar and the bar directly below. And we're pushing out that direction. In fact, my core stay nicely and good, so I'm not here. Balancing on one foot, small little movements. Anyone ever injured their foot like injured their uh, ankle badly like running or whatever? And you do react, you do react like with a physical might make you balance When you're first coming back from your you're like this, ooh, ooh. Active, hands here, pushing away, and squeezing the legs on the top side. See the difference there? Alright, so you're, you're practicing that balance. I've been able to practice that bottom arm. Gonna make it harder. Take the arm further out, same thing. Okay? I'll do max, max hold, max repetitions, change over arms and go back to track. We talked about the front hand stacking things up. We have the elbow on the wrist, the knee on top, and the hip on top. When we're in a straight line, we're not going to be on top. So, half the moment, upside down. Up. Hands on the floor, elbow on top, shoulder on top, hip on top, knees, leg, everything on top. Yeah? If I have got tight shoulders, as I go up, rather than, if I can't get my hands completely over my head here, and arms straight, I will end up getting to here, and then going, boom, arch my back to find that shape. Yeah? So that then looks like this on the wall. Now you've already got... So we've been working on some of our hand balancing, we've actually gone into some handstands and the guys are doing an amazing job for a beginner's class, it doesn't look like beginners, but we're also looking at some of the pulling mechanics that can eventually go on to our uh, human flag and working on angle flags is a great way to build up and some of the guys are doing a great job. Quick wrap up, Ben Young without the S, England uh, scrum hard scrum. <laughs> Good class, enjoy it. Yeah, well worth it. What did you learn? 
anchor flag, single arm active hang. And were you good at them? I was actually, yeah, not bad. <laughs> Elbow lever awful. <laughs> but But you don't want to learn that, so it doesn't matter. I or will do eventually. You? Oh you do want to learn it. Eventually, but it's all about the uh, School of Calisthenics, redefine your impossibility. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Class dismissed. <laughs> yeah, exactly, he's got it all. <laughs>